Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm making a video. This is the first video I've made in like a week. Oh my god. Okay, so I was cut off from the world pretty much, at least as far as the World Wide Web goes and phone and cable television for like a week. My cable provider, Kojiko, something went really drastically wrong with the line and I had none of that. It's all, my, my, my phone, my cable and my internet all comes through the cable line and when the cable line decides to crap the bed, I have none of that stuff. The puppy's awake. Oh goody. And also, I'd like to formally introduce you to Wilson! Wilson, the new puppy! Look at the puppy up close! Look at the puppy! Hello! Everyone say hello to Wilson! Wilson is our new family dog. Now on Instagram, I put out a question like, hey, these are the final names, like the, the short list of names that made the, the short list, and I was like, what do you guys think? Oh, he's licking underneath my- ow, he's chewing. Stop chewing! He's a puppy, so he wants to nibble, just like he would do with all of his siblings. He keeps me hopping, I'm telling you. It's almost like a blessing in disguise that I was cut off from the world, pretty much. I mean, I had data, I could use my phone, but but not too much, because data, you know, it's 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 pricey, especially in Canada. Anyway, uh, it's almost like it was a, a blessing in disguise that I had this time to just spend with Wilson, getting acclimatized to him, his sleep patterns, getting his sleep patterns a little bit more in line with how humans like to sleep through the night and you know, that whole kind of thing. And we don't want to get up four times a night to play and lick ourselves and that kind of thing. So now Wilson gets up around two times a night and then we have to try and convince him that when the birds wake up at five o'clock in the morning, that's not a good time to get up because we still want to sleep at that point. He's licking again. I love it. That never gets old. Just don't start biting. Ah, nibbly. Stop nibbling. Ah, stop it. Seriously, this is normal. If he was still living with his brothers and sisters, then he'd be just playing and nibbling and having all kinds. That's how he plays. That's how he, the puppies play with each other. They bite and they roll around and stuff like that. So he has to learn not to do that because human beings don't like it when you nibble on us. He is weaned. He, we got him early, that's true, but he is weaned, he's eating solid food, he's drinking water and all that kind of stuff, and he's fitting right in, he's a member of the household. Anyway, I, I, I lost what I was talking about. Sorry, I haven't made a video and haven't had to have a straight train of thought in like a week, and the puppy, if I'm being honest, he completely destroys any kind of rational or, you know, smart train of thought I could have ever had. Basically, imagine how many wonderful, intelligent thoughts I could have had all week and they were just ruined by the cuteness of this puppy that... It's not the fact that he's so cute that ruins it, it's the fact that he's always getting into stuff. The puppy is always, always getting into stuff. He's like, can I chew this? No. Can I chew your shoes? No. Can I chew the curtains? No. Can I chew the carpet? No. Can I poop on the floor? Absolutely not. Can I pee on the floor? Definitely not. Pee stinks. It's... He requires so much attention. So, a blessing in disguise it might have been to be able to focus so much on puppy for that week. However, it sucked, sucked, sucked to be so cut off. Seriously, it sucked. I don't ever want to be cut off for a week from the internet, not by choice. I mean, if I choose to for some reason, like go to Diddy Land or when I go on vacation or whatever, even then I'm still connected to the internet. I don't want to be disconnected from the internet like that ever again. I haven't been since I got the internet in my own apartment. I never had it up until like 2001, I was like, who cares? And then when I got it, I was like, oh my God, the world just opened up to me. And I've been connected ever since, always going for faster, more reliable internet. I am a Netian, a, a Netian, is that a word? It is now, I'm a Netian. I'm somebody that spends a lot of time on the internet. I, I'm a YouTuber, so I upload videos all the time. And when I'm not, when I, you know, when I'm recording video that doesn't require sound, I'm watching YouTube videos off to the side or listening to podcasts like the H3H3 or Joe Rogan. Don't fall down that rabbit hole because it's really difficult to climb out. Your homepage is just filled with Joe Rogan podcasts because he could talk about anything with anyone for any length of time and it's interesting. Oh, look at that. The puppy's got his face in my arm. This video also has a time limit because this little guy here, he's gonna have to pee soon. Maybe I should just take you with me. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Let's take puppy out for a wee wee. And then we'll get into the kind of things that I have a chance to do now and that is coming in the future. And I can't just put him down because he'll pee on the floor. Hold on, let me show you what I had to rig up down here in my studio just in case he does wee. And let me also say before I go any further how stressful it is to have a new puppy that does want to chew on everything because everything in this room is chewable. And oh my god, look, 
I, I still haven't managed to find a shelf to put the Total Justice figures on yet, and I've got a whole box full of vintage stuff there, and over, just, hold on a second. You're down for a second. Don't pee. Don't pee. No, 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 don't pee, don't pee. Look, stressful. All this stuff, all of this stuff is chewable. So I have to make sure that nothing is where he can reach it. Even that T-Rex, that T-Rex is not safe from my dog. But this, look, I had to roll out a piece of linoleum in the bulk part of my studio here so that when I'm recording right there I can have him sort of penned up and playing here and independent because I don't want him weeing on the carpet because we stinks up, 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 up. all right pupikins stay there don't we <laughs> there you go puppy go for a wee oh good boy you actually held it. <sighs> Not that it matters if you burn the grass because we ain't got much grass anyway. That's a lovely shot of your bum hole. Hey Wilson, inside? Wanna get some food? Let's go inside and get something to eat. Come on, in. Come on Wilson. Let's go get something to eat. Right there, oh. See what I mean? This dog, he keeps me hopping. I'm always running around and chasing him because he's a baby and he gets into stuff and I can't just have him getting into stuff and eating stuff he can't eat and chewing on stuff he can't chew like shoes and my action figures and pretty much anything that's not a dog toy or something that we've specifically given him to chew. Right now he's going after the carpet. Wilson, no, 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 no. The carpet is not for you to chew on, puppy. Not the carpet. Let's stay away from the carpet, okay? No carpet. He's going back to the carpet, just like that. No, 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 no carpet. You don't need to chew on the carpet, okay? You're gonna sniff the lens again. Oh, you're gonna chew the lens. Good job. Oh man, that lens is dirty. See, the thing about having a dog is they suck up all your time. And so all that extra time that I would have had to do other stuff, which I couldn't do because I didn't have the internet anyway, you just spend it chasing the dog around. The dog is like, wants to chew everything, wants to get into everything. And it sucks up, it hoovers up your time. I, 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 I won't be able to work to the same capacity that I was working for the longest time. Oh, I just dropped my glasses. Don't eat them. I won't be able to work to the same capacity that I was because Wilson just demands so much attention. Wilson is a time hoover. He sucks up as much time as he can because he's a new baby. He's a baby dog and Babies get into trouble, they get into mischief because they're learning, they're experiencing, they're seeing the world for the first time and mo most of his experiences here have been first time experiences. Today I managed to load up the videos that I said I was going to post onto TNI. I loaded those pictures and the videos onto TNI so that you can go and get a closer look at the snapshots from the videos. Stuff that I have planned that is in the works right now, the Mezco 112th Collective uh, Sovereign Knight Batman. The gray and black version is on the way here. It should be here in a day or two So I'm gonna begin work on that and try and get that done as fast as I can as well as the Batman mission six-inch scale Mr. Freeze figure I should be able to get a review of that up fairly soon and then anytime now We should be seeing or maybe in a month. Maybe it was actually June 26 I got the DC Essentials Supergirl wave that I really want to begin work on and I wish I had my Review copy of it sooner, but I don't because DC Collectibles doesn't know who I am, and I'm like, Brad the DC Universe Geek, why don't they? My whole channel is dedicated to them. Why don't they know who I am? Huh, well, speak of the devil, guess what just showed up? Mezco Sovereign Knight Batman just got here in the mail. So I got my work cut out for me. Thing is, I'm gonna have to record this when I can get other people to do doggy watch, like Margaret and the kids, because I cannot record this and do dog watch. Oh my god, I'll never get anything done. Eventually, I won't have to deal with this kind of thing because the dog will be more independent. Where's the dog? Where you at, puppy? Oh, of course. He's in the bushes. Why is he in the bushes? See what I mean? This dog, he keeps me hopping. I'm always running around and chasing him because he's a baby and he gets into stuff and I can't just have him getting into stuff and eating stuff he can't eat and chewing on stuff he can't chew like shoes and my action figures and pretty much anything that's not a dog toy or something that we've specifically given him to chew. Right now he's going after the carpet. 
I said, no, 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 no. The carpet is not for you to chew on, puppy. Not the carpet. Let's stay away from the carpet, okay? Where was I? Oh, yes, right. Hiya Toys also got in touch with me, and they said, hey, we saw your reviews of our Hiya Superman and Batman, and there's more DC figures for Injustice 2 out, and we'd like to send those to you. So I'm like, all right, if Hiya Toys wants to send me stuff to review for free, then I'll take it. It's still going to be an honest review. I can't just because someone sends me something for free be like, okay, well, let's give this a glowing review. I got to be honest and tell the truth always. Even when I try to stay positive, I have to tell the truth. I'm a reviewer and I can't be bought by anyone. Not necessarily saying that's what they want to do, but it's still going to be an honest review. Trust me. I was more impressed with Batman than I was with Superman. Superman didn't impress me really all that much. Batman definitely looked neater, more tidy, whereas Superman's face was just... <sighs> and the figure was kind of a mess. Oh, I gotta go. The dog wants to go downstairs. He's getting into all kinds of mischief. Thank you for taking this time to get back in touch with me. The dog is going upstairs, so I will see you later. Bye for now.